Hello, you beautiful being. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. We have a nice TLC practice for the neck. So we focus on moving really, really gently in this flow and opening up through the cervical spine. So this is, I'm thinking like if you slept funky or if you just got off like a plane ride or a long car ride, this isn't necessarily for like a big chronic pain issue, but just if you feel like a slight kind of tweak in your neck and you just need a little bit of assistance, kind of opening it up and releasing some of that tension. So please, please, please be careful to not move too quickly and modify anything, take out any of these moves that you need to that don't feel really good. Remember our goal here is to heal yourself, not hurt yourself. So please make sure to listen to your body, make this practice your own in any way that you need to, and make sure to take what you need, leave the rest behind. So we don't need any props for this class, but if you would like to have a block handy, we do begin our flow here today in child pose, and it may feel therapeutic to you to place your forehead on the block to help you extend through the spine. So if you'd like to grab a block now, before we begin, we will meet at the back of the mat in a nice child pose. Beginning with our feet together, sitting up kind of on the heels here. So you can really allow yourself a nice release. So gently creep the fingertips forward. You can start to feel a nice stretch in the lower back as it radiates all the way up. Walking the fingertips out, perhaps feeling it reach the spine as you melt the chest down. Feel free to widen the knees a little bit here. As you continue reaching with the fingertips, feeling some opening happening on the sides of the shoulders as you lengthen through the arms. Finding nice big breaths. Reaching the crown of the head towards the hands. The forehead can rest on the mat or on a block if you choose so. Take your awareness to the upper spine and visualize it decompressing as you let yourself relax with every breath. Taking a few nice big belly breaths here. Coming into this moment on the mat. Sending some healing energy to your body. One last breath to find length. And then carefully lifting the head on the inhale, reach the chest up, keeping this left hand on the mat, but scooting it back a few inches, picking the right arm up and gently threading it under the left, coming into a nice little twist. You can extend the left fingertips as you drop the right ear to the mat, trying to create space in the shoulders. Letting the belly become full and round as you breathe. Lifting the head to come back up, sliding this left hand back towards the knees, pressing yourself up, sitting up on top of the knees. Take this right hand behind the neck, gazing down in front of the knees, basically by your left hand. Take one inhale, and on your exhale, gently kind of twist open to the right. 
So this is not going to be a big movement. You can also sit up if you want to. Remember, modify as you feel fit. But we're just kind of working through the entire spine, remembering that everything is all connected. So if you're feeling some tightness in your cervical upper spine, it may be radiating down to the lower back. Coming back down to face the front of the mat. And then twisting on your exhale. Taking about three or four of these. Moving with your own breath, not forcing anything, not going too far. Finding your last one here. Before replacing the right hand, walking the fingertips out, Finding another few breaths in child pose. Take a little chance to reset. And every time we come back to child pose, maybe notice how you feel if you feel any different. Mind, body, awareness. One more big breath. And relaxing on the exhale. Gently walking back up. We know where we're going now, going to the other side. So we ping this left arm underneath the right, coming into your little hug and twist. Still trying to find space in the body lengthening wherever you can and when you're ready Slowly, carefully uncross, peeling that right arm back towards the knee, taking the left hand behind the head, gazing at the right hand. And on your exhale, twist to the left, pressing through this right hand to help you twist, but again, not going too far. Inhale back to center and exhale, open and twist. Finding your last round of breath with this little twisting flow. Before taking your gaze forward, releasing the left hand, coming back into a little child pose, but we're not staying there long. Don't get too comfortable this time. Reach the fingertips out, keeping your chest lifted, gazing at the hands. Exhale, send the hips back. Inhale, raise up onto the knees, tabletop pose. Glide the hands under the shoulders, gazing in between the thumbs. Exhale, child pose. Taking this little mini flow about five times. Finding a nice connection to your body as you begin to match your own rhythm. Really reaching with the fingertips in child pose. And finding as neutral of a spine as you can in tabletop. And taking one more. Even though this might be your sixth round, like I think it is for me. It's okay. It never hurts to do one more. Beautiful. When we meet back in tabletop, tuck the toes and gently come back up onto the feet, making your way through a little squat before straightening the legs, but not all the way, keeping a beautiful deep bend in the knees and finding a little gentle fold. So we can take the feet a little bit further than hip distance apart. 
So we can let our belly kind of hang in between the legs here. And then release the head. Now, we have a lot of options here. So the blood rushing to the head. Remember, if this does not feel good to you, we can always relax back in child pose or something else that feels calling to you. But we want to move gently here. Now, we can take the backs of the thumbs or the fingertips to the base of the skull and kind of massage out any points that might feel tight or tender in the back of the neck, giving yourself a little self-love massage. Maybe you would like to just let yourself hang and really try to focus on releasing tension in the shoulders, letting everything stretch out, letting gravity pull you down. We can also kind of lift the fingertips and make little circular motions with the head. Remembering to move slowly, maybe make a little infinity. Taking just a few more breaths here. In whichever variation you've chosen for yourself today. And when you're ready, very carefully lift the fingertips off the mat if you haven't already. Start to kind of roll up, still keeping the chin nice and tucked. Keeping a nice bend in the knees, coming into a little standing cat-cow. So we can sink the booty back, place the hands on the knees, take the feet underneath the hips, and then work through the rest of the spine, finding some mobility there. Inhale, take the chest forward, take the shoulders down, create space in the chest. Exhale, round and tuck everything. The chin, the tailbone. Taking about five rounds here as well. Enjoying the sound of your breath. And meeting back with our hands on our knees whenever you're finished. Finding a revolved forward fold. So if you have your block, we can use it here as well. Keeping the right knee bent, straightening the left leg, reach the right fingertips down. Exhale. Inhale, peel the left arm up. Exhale, replace and switch. Inhale, right arm comes up. Matching one breath to each movement. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left arm. And fold. Right comes up. Beautiful. One more time each side. And then we come back down into a seat. So meeting in our little forward fold, you can kind of walk the hands out, come down onto the knees, cross the feet at the ankles, and send the legs out, scoot to the middle of the mat, keeping the heels planted, flexing the feet. Knees are nicely bent, and we round the arms. Kind of give yourself a little hug here. Reach for the toes, the feet. And then take a nice rounding of the spine. So this is mirroring um, cat pose. So just let yourself round and deepen with every breath. Maybe the forehead comes to the knees. Take one deep inhale through the nose. 
and exhale. On your next inhale, gently raise the head, extend the legs coming into a nice big staff pose. So really root down with the sit bones here, find that connection to earth, flex the feet, sending energy out through the feet. Lift up, find the spine, base of the spine, and peel everything up through the crown of the head, releasing the shoulders down. Hands can rest on top of the thighs, maybe by the sides of the body, whatever feels good to you. Taking your awareness to the back. And we can stay here and simply be with the breath. Or if you want to find slight little neck tilts, gazing up, opening through the throat. And then tucking the chin. Maybe finding some neck circles. Staying here for about four more breaths. If you're taking your head tilts, we're trying to only tilt from the cervical spine. So keeping everything else in line, really focusing on that one little movement, trying to isolate. And meeting in staff pose whenever you are ready. Taking the knees in, crossing the feet at the ankles, coming into a nice, easy seat. For the last few movements of this practice today. Rooting down through the sit bones, finding a nice big side stretch. Inhale, reach the arms up above the head. Big breath in, exhale, right hand drops to the side, left sends over, really reach, 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 reach. Keeping both of your sit bones nicely, firmly on the mat. Really just feeling this stretch extend from the fingertips all the way down through the sides of the ribs, down towards the hips. And then gently inhale to come back up. Arms reach for the sky. And exhale, left hand comes down. Right arm shoots overhead. Ah, taking your time to get there. There's no rush. Noticing what you feel in this moment. Keeping the chest nice and open. ready to receive the healing benefits of this little practice. And coming back up to neutral spine, finding a gentle little neck stretch on the left side first, reaching the right hand up, comes towards the left ear, as we gently tilt towards the right shoulder. Feeling this lengthening happening on the left side of the neck first. And if you would like, we can reach the left fingertips towards the mat and stay here. We can find a little circles to kind of work through the shoulder joint as well. Maybe noticing that this kind of helps open up through the neck. Taking note of what feels good and maybe what doesn't feel so good. Skipping the parts that don't feel so good. And then gently releasing, coming back through center and taking the other side. Dropping the left shoulder down, find space between the shoulder and the ear here. Not really pulling on the head, just using your hand as a nice little gentle placement. 
Notice the lengthening happening first before maybe adding on. Working to open the shoulder. And then finding stillness whenever you feel evened out there. Come back through a neutral spine. Notice if there's anything else that your body is craving. Take a little check in with yourself here. And then we can take one last big breath together. Inhale nice and deep in through the nose. And exhale, let it all out. Thank you for allowing me to guide this practice for you today. It is an honor to meet you here on the mat. If this was healing for you, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to never miss more daily yoga videos. And I look forward to the next time we meet. Thank you for tuning in to Yoga with Paige.